Hi there, I'm Black Bright and today I'm going to do a follow on from the video I did yesterday about healing the wounded. Now somebody wrote me a letter and I'm going to read out the letter and then I'm going to respond. I'm going to have to break it up into three different parts or three different videos because it touches on three different topics but each topic carries its own weight and I feel not that females have to defend themselves or even though I feel as though we're always defending ourselves but I do feel I have to speak out for the females. Um, the letter I'm going to say um, it's from T I'm not going to give the full name and he says thank you for your recent video on the subject and you are right one video is not enough. What you're talking about was the breakdown of the black family leading to today's fatherless epidemic. As a son and a father to six children by three women by now I have a degree on the matter. The law was set for us to fail and unfortunately we played right into their plan. Black women were led down the garden path to think that using the law to free themselves from the responsibility of having a child's father was going to gain anything. In the world today we don't see any other race of women as lonely as the black women. You see she stripped herself of her legacy I know people who say she single-handedly brought down the race and I have single-handedly witnessed this through mothers and grandmothers. Black women are the only women who have been unanswerable to no one for the past four decades. She's been bearing children and not interested in the man whose seed she bore. Totally against nature. Often bearing seeds for many men. Laws were put in place to back her, having your child then kicking you out to invite the man in next door. I shouldn't smile. And she took pleasure exercising her especially tailored right. Today's youth are now the result. Boys who lack real testosterone because of it. They were not grown in any condition to nurture future testosterone levels because they died inside 1,000 times already whilst growing up in the care of mother alone. Each time she abandoned him for her current partner over the years or abused him. I blame the grandmothers who told their daughters to view black men the same as she did, causing history to repeat itself at a more detrimental level. Gone are the days when black love was on every corner, prospective partners waiting in every local blues dance. Now someone else's plan has gained strength and the stakes have changed. Yeah, I sense a lot of pain and betrayal and hurt in that response and I did smile because I forget what made me smile. But, um, hmm. Like I said, he's covered quite a lot of topics. Now, I'm going to cover the first one. Did black women use the law to free themselves from the responsibility of having a child's father? Some Someone said that black... Oh, yeah, put that in. Yeah, I was wondering if he was referring to women who had been assaulted. Because when... He's talking about using the law to free themselves from the responsibility of having a child's father. I can't see how she can use the law any other way unless, like I said, she's been abused. Not unless um, she lied and claimed she was being abused when she's not. But that's what I've got to say on that point. At first when I read it, I thought he was talking about, you know, the women who used to use um, the welfare system and the welfare system wouldn't give them any money if they had a man. And a lot of the men, they weren't in a position to support the woman. Either they weren't working or if they worked, they wouldn't give the woman any money. And so she had a man and you know, who wasn't behaving like a man. He wasn't protecting her. He wasn't providing for her. He wasn't present there for her. 
He didn't praise her. So she had a man who she had a child for and yet he wasn't doing anything. Either he was still living with his mother as a lot of them did back then or, you know, he just wasn't there for her. Now, it seems like men or some black men feel as though women should tolerate that. It feels like when he's talking about the legacy of black women, what did he say? Um, oh, what did he say? He said something like, She has, um, he said, in the, in the world today, we do not see any race of women as lonely as black women. You see, she stripped herself of her legacy. Now, what was her legacy? Her legacy was to be the matriarch of the family, to cook, to clean, to look after the children. That was her legacy. And in that legacy, there were men who went out and brought in the money or brought in the food and who looked after her so she could in turn look after the children. Now, it appears that certain men feel that women should still do all of that and put up with a man who's not supporting her for the sake of a legacy of what the grandparents did. The grandparents had a totally different legacy. Their legacy was different from ours. The black, the black woman was always the leader, was always at the forefront, was always supporting the family, was always there for the family. But she also had a foundation to build on. So I don't see why um, black women are chastised you have to call it chastised for not tolerating that anymore for not tolerating men who are not pulling their weight because that is what happened if a woman had a man who was going out there to work and who was bringing in the dosh to help her look after herself and her child she wouldn't have had to go to the council or go on the dole and get child benefit and get these benefits she wouldn't have had to do that and not all men were like that they did have men who did provide for their women but a lot of the men who are complaining these are the ones who used to live with their mums. Some of them still do in their 50s, 60s. They're still living with their mums if their mums are still alive. But these are the ones who are complaining that women have not, um, are not fulfilling their role or who have discarded them. But I don't know how they expect a woman to survive. I mean, it's almost like they're willing to... Um, go out of their way and provide for women outside their race, but they resent doing it for women who are the same race. And it's almost like they expect black women to tolerate the, the, the rough life and the, the struggle because that's their legacy. Their legacy is living the struggle rising above the struggle. And the women nowadays, they're not putting up with the struggle. They don't have to put up with the struggle, but they shouldn't be penalized for that. If a man cannot pull his weight and cannot contribute and cannot um, give a woman, well, when even if they just supplement the women, I mean, some women don't even need financial support, but they should be able to do other things so that they make a difference in the woman's life. Whether it's cooking, whether it's whether it's fixing things in the house, the woman shouldn't have to say, oh, will you do this for me? If you've got a man and he can't do anything else and he's not giving you money a week time, he should be doing something. So he becomes valued. They, she has a reason for having him in her life. But some men think that women want a man in their lives just because they think, I mean, the days of a woman just wanting a man to say, boy, I'm a man. Those days are done. A man has to add 
value to the woman and the woman has to add value to the man otherwise what is the point so i think there's something gone amiss in that understanding i mean um what else was he saying yeah i was saying are black women meant to tolerate bad behavior that they are the ones yeah they seem to be the ones that you turn to when everything's gone wrong. When they're young and beautiful and they're productive and they can do stuff, you're all over the bloody place. And then when you're falling apart, that's the time you decide to pick up a black woman. You know, it's just not right. And I, you know, it, and it's annoying when black women are penalized for protecting themselves for looking after themselves, for putting themselves first for a change. It's not right. And, you know, and I, I think, you know, a black men, because their um, symbiotic relationship is with their mother, I think there's something in their psyche that believes a black woman should behave like a mother in the sense that she should be there for him, she should, regardless of what he does, she should be there. And yeah, if if you're a good man and you're providing and you know, and you're, you're doing stuff, then I'm sure she would be there. But you cannot expect a woman to struggle with you on her back and the children and not expect to find help somewhere so she can survive and hold her head about above water because that is what it was about. That is what it's about. And a lot of women, I mean, it was probably poor choices back then because remember, we're talking about, well, I'm talking about the Lover's Rock era and it was about chemistry. You met a man in a dance, and two twos, you've gone home, and the next thing you know, you're in a relationship. You don't know nothing about the man. The man, the relationship could last for years. Some of those relationships are still together. But the fact of the matter is, it was based on chemistry. And if you were lucky, you'd find a man who was who had been raised right and who knew what to do. But you also had those ones who just used to latch on and who didn't have anything to offer apart from probably being good in bed. And after a while, that doesn't cut it. It cuts it for a while, but it doesn't cut it all the time. The charm doesn't cut it all the time. So, um, so I guess what I said here, they're fed up of fighting the fight. Um, what else did he say? Um... So I have to do this, I have to do this. Uh, yeah, I think I was gonna break it up. Yeah, I think I think that's long enough actually. I think I'm going to break it up because he's talking about no other race is as lonely as a black woman. Now that is definitely another video. So thank you T for your comments, but I've got to challenge them. I'm sorry, I've got to challenge them. And that's all for now.